Cause it's gonna be legit It won't be for clout It won't be for fame All right, coming up next, we get to this welterweight bout between Tony Ferguson and Leon Edwards. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. And quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're gonna find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist. Ah, it's crazy. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punch. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch. He's taking a full oh. ride. Oh, my God. He switched the off to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Fighters back to their feet here. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, Mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression of right. his opponent. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, a beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're gonna start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this game. Absolutely. And the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at AKA for months, and you barely knew that Rocky was even there. He was just there to get his work in as he's doing his work now inside the opera. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice straight right, Lance. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Ferguson's shot is blocked. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting... Back with that offering, DC, he is home. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully, perfect placement on that shot. So we call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but... Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And I have to say, absorbing those strikes quite well. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. What a fight. Beautiful kick. 
quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking this dude for a ride. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the front. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> Edwards' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Under two minutes now to go in round two. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Two rounds in the books. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this. All right, so back to back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, nice, nice right and here. Both guys really throwing with authority. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea of what you're facing. When you're in there, you're confused. He doesn't give you any type of pattern inside the octagon. Nice kick. Nice job to block the elbow attack there. Throwing that jab, no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, no questioning the output thus far. 88 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. And landing with 42% accuracy thus far against Tony Ferguson. Huge block there. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Seminal blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt him until the third back. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to the ring. Oh, and he comes wow. out. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Seconds now to go in the round. 
20 seconds to go in the fight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest. 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you've got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know to me. Live. We can 